to be given a second chance to life. Fast forward to the picture that I posted when I appeared to be pregnant, it still goes back to show not everything that you see with the eyes you believe on Instagram. Because like I said, not because you see somebody happy and laughing on Instagram, that means their life is really happy and that's what it is. So don't follow everything that you see. I never said I was pregnant. I said, God has been good to me. And that picture is just for me celebrating my new life. It's me celebrating my journey, my walk. It's me wanting to have that picture to blow up and put in my house. To remember that there's a God. To remember that I got a second chance at life. To remember that I have a new life. Um, so from time to time, if you hear me speak about my first life and my second life, do not think I'm crazy. Because I died in my first life. And I was given a second life, a second chance at life. And I do not take that for granted. I do not take that lightly. I give God all the glory, all the honor, all the thanks, on all the praise. And I want to say thank you, Jesus, that, you know, I escaped death, that I was given a second chance to life. That was my rebirth. It's my new life. I, um, I do have a song that's called New Life. But I never wanted this to be about songs and promoting songs. This is, this is God time. This is God moment. So the new life song that I have will come later. It's not about that. You notice I'm not playing no songs in the background. I'm not trying to promote any songs. This is not about me. This is not about, you know, no promotion or it's just be me being real and honest and open. And today is just God time. This is just my rebirth. This is me celebrating with you for telling us, listen, bestie, I got a second chance. I'm grateful. This is my rebirth. This is my new life. All the songs and other will come after. I actually, um, big up Coach Starmy. I see you. Let's celebrate this queen. Thank you so much, Coach Starmy. I love you. You're an inspiration. Big up yourself and continue to do the amazing things with your beautiful black woman. I, you know, I appreciate that. Kim Possible, big up yourself. Um, I rely on music. Big up yourself. Thanks for um, accepting me when I was in Jamaica. I'll get to everybody in the comments, but let me just give God his glory and um, finish my story because I'm not going to keep talking about it. And after today, you guys can say whatever you want to say. As long as me do my assignment, that is really what it's about because this is an assignment. And so even when people tag me in my ear, they might talk about, oh, we're going to cancel Spice and Ray, Ray, Ray. You can't cancel what God assigned. Let me just make that clear. So I bet you just back up and forget about that because you can't cancel God assignment. God assigned me for this. See here? All right. I was chosen. Nobody make me get in a Grace Hamilton and turn Sister Grace Pound and go. so many little things in life that I normally take for granted. There's so many little things that used to bother me. There's so many little things that I used to argue about. And in my second life, I have changed so much. I've become more patient. I've become more grateful. Um, little things don't worry me again. And so I just want to encourage you guys out there and just to remind you that the moment you open your eyes is a blessing because just, open, just to be awake is a blessing. So just type and give God the glory, you know, just be thankful to be here, thankful to be alive, I'm grateful for that, I'm grateful for this new life, this second chance, um, they say no sound, that's because people keep calling me, come back, Lord Jesus, Woo. yeah man, um, just be grateful when you wake up in the morning, and grateful to be alive, and give God all the glory, and the thanks, and the praise, um, 
so fast forward to that, I want to show you where I'm at with my scar. Um, want update to you know so that you know, can know that I have been through a lot. It's been six months. It's been a long time. I know it's been long, but I promised myself I wouldn't come on live until I'm fully healed, until I'm healthy, until this day that I got to celebrate my new life. And here I am just telling you guys what I've been through for the past six months. Um, my scar, where I'm at right now, I want to show you um, lifetime because I want you to know that when I talk about my God, that he is king. My scar is very minimal. I don't know if you can see. Um, but that is, can you see? Yeah, that's what it looks like. That's my scar in real life. He took me from that, where you see, to this. And you want to tell me, say, there's not a God. You want to tell me, say, Jesus is not king. You want to tell me, say, huh. Being in the hospital and seeing myself like that, laying out, can't walk. Because I wasn't able to walk because I didn't have no stomach. So I had to learn to walk again. I had to learn to talk again. I had to learn to sing again. Lord Jesus, you yeah, didn't even know that I could even talk at one point. When I woke up in the DR, they had some things going through my, my throat, going, holding on to my lungs. I woke up like a robot. My two hands was tied to the bed because they didn't want me to wake up in fright. Oh, mighty Jesus. Oh, God. So I had to learn to walk again. I had to, 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 to learn, like, when I wake up, I couldn't even talk. Um, so many moments, so many testimony. But God is good. Jesus is king. Like, I just want to give God the glory and the honor and the thanks and the praise. Like, mighty God, you walk me through a journey. You give me the testimony. You know, um... So that was, that's, that's the scar. It's, it's fully closed. It's healed. I'm so much better. I'm grateful. Um, the scar is minimal. And I know that with even time, it will look like it's not even there. So I'm just so super grateful. Um, yeah, man. So big up to Father God. Big up to Jesus. He literally gave me a new life. And that's what I'm celebrating. That's all it is. Um, it was never... It was never intentionally done for the picture to offend anyone. And so if it did offend anyone, then I apologize. And I'm sorry if it offended you. But it was never about anything or anyone, any woman that can't get pregnant. I sympathize. I have friends and family that went through different things, miscarriages, like all of that. But it was never about that. It was just about celebrating my new life, giving God glory, giving God thanks for this new life. For this new journey it's like a rebirth i'm a brand new person i feel rejuvenated um yes i will be in cayman next week 24th i'm going to be in cayman 8 i'm going to be there, um amazura right in new york april 8th i'm coming to jamaica right after to perform um i'm definitely going to be in bermuda to perform so i'm healed i'm ready i would never come out if i know that i'm not fully ready you know, to represent as your queen. And yeah, I just wanted to give God all the glory, all the honor and all the thanks, all the praise. I got that out. I've shown you everything. I'm not going to come back and keep talking about it. There are so many funny moments about it. And if it's not going to be funny, I'm not going to come back and say, oh, Lord Jesus, I went through that. Like that was my story. That was my journey. That's what I went through. Um, I'm so grateful to everyone. Yes, I did release a song today. It's called God Have Blessed Me. And it's out on every platform. Um, my music video is out as well. Um, I did a gospel song and I didn't release it and I, I, I couldn't release it. I think I want to do a gospel album. But when I did the gospel song, the gospel song is really what I wanted to come back out with. But it never sound... Gospel is my favorite genre. I don't know if I've ever said it before. But it just never sound like gospel you know when people sing gospel me tell you all the time you know gospel is a feeling you have to feel it you can't hear the gospel that the people them vice the people them were right with god because i never i don't know one of them don't make them trick on you know all of them right you know but when somebody is a true believer and them have the anointing you don't have to ask them you can't see it you can't feel it you can't hear it and so when i did my gospel song i never like it because it's like I'm such, I'm such a big critique of myself. And so I did not release a gospel song first, but I did do a reggae song that is coming out next week. 
Um, and that is called Spice Marley, my reggae song. Yeah, I don't care what I want to say. I got the song name. But God have blessed me is the name of the song that's out today. The video is out. It's on my YouTube. If you're not subscribed, you're going to want to walk this journey with me. You're going to want to walk this new life. Go to my YouTube. Look for Spice Official and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and just follow me on this new journey. It's, it's beautiful. It's going to be amazing. Best is, oh my God, if I could be given the opportunity to meet each and every one of you, just to hug you, just to hold you. Oh, what a day that would be. It would be so beautiful. I'm so grateful for all of you. I love all of you. Like, you don't know when I use that word bestie, like, this is best friend business, may I share with them. It's real. Like, my fans are so close to me. Like, I'm just vulnerable. I want to share everything. But it's like, I love you guys. You guys was really what kept me. Sometimes me in the hospital sick, and if my come on the phone, just... Just for soon, I share love with me. It was just so blessing. It, get, it gave me something to hold on to. And so, besties, I thank you. I love you. I am grateful. Um, I'm so just honored. That's what I went through. Um, and that's just what my life is. Um, I love you too. It's obviously, thank you so much. Amelia, uh, big up yourself. You know, that's worthy. I love you. I'm seeing you this weekend. Um... Big up to everyone. That's really what it is. Let me go back in my phone and see if I'm missing anything because trust me, I don't want to leave out nothing. I'm not going to go back and forth. Um, yup. I think I basically told you guys what the story is and what it was. And I'm happy to be here with you guys again. I was waiting for this day. Thank you guys. Um, Lisa Mercedes, big up herself. It's a rebirth. Thanking God to be alive. Okay. Yeah. She's explained. I told you guys, even after this live, we're still going to have people that don't get it. Um, adore. I love you. Big up herself. Sherry, big up the whole of the England crew. Them, you know, I used to live in England. I have a lot of friends there and family that I love and genuinely care about. So Sherry, big up herself, big up Sasha. Um, Auntie Devon and everybody. Empress the Glam, I love you. Love a son. Big up yourself. More blessings. Um, yeah, big up all of the besties, them. Sister Fenice, I love you. Oh my God. Let's take a moment to celebrate our sisters and our black queen. My work that I did, I could not have done it without my little sister Fenice. Sometimes them say if you want to know who is with you, play dead, or if you want to know who is really um have your back, is when you're sick or when you you know play dead. I'm so grateful for my little sister. I love her so much. I would not trade her for any other person in this world. Mm. Yep, she really um, made that walk with me every step of the way, and I'm grateful to be blessed with a sister like her. So, Fenice, I love you. Um, big up Maya, big up Denise, big up the whole of my family then. Big up everybody. Um, big up all my fans. What else? Did I miss anything? Quite Perry, you just a giant this alive, yeah? No, sir. You must go away and come back. Are you very mixed up, bad? That's the dancer. I love you. Big up yourself. Um, Y'all drop some blue hearts for the queen. Thank you guys for all the love. I see all the blue hearts. Remember, I said today is not for me. Big up to God. Big up Jesus himself. The kings of kings. The lords of Lord. Um, hold on to him. He's so worthy to be praised. Amen. Yeah, man. Do not big up Father God and say thanks for being alive. To be to be here is a blessing. Dana, go. Oh my God, Auntie Dana, I love you. Big up yourself. I love you, Auntie Dana. Big up your nice, clean self. Yeah. Um, Empress Leglam, big up yourself. Continue to be used by God and continue to preach His word and His gospel and continue to send me the scripture. Right. That's so. God is amazing. Yeah, man. Jesus is king. Big up everybody who is on this live. Um, all of my besties, them. Tommy, big up yourself. One of my besties. Spice QOD, big up yourself. Spice Updates, big up yourself. Spice 876, big up yourself. Um, I said Spice Updates already. Kem Kem, pretty Dan. Jesus, the one of my besties, them. Was speak for me. That was my voice when I couldn't talk. Big up on herself. Um, 
just so many blessings. Um, thank you guys for loving me. I really appreciate it. I am so grateful. Like I said, for all the prayers that I received, it really works and God is good. Um, I don't know if I'm missing anything. New York waiting. April 8th, I'll definitely be there. Next week, we're going to Cayman. So big up everybody we're in a Cayman. You guys are actually going to see my first performance after six months. Isn't that something? Yeah. Start the fun entertainment. I'm going to be in Cayman. Um, big up Twip Twip. Somebody said big up Twip Twip too. Big up everybody that has supported me. Shaniqua, Ray Alexander, um, and your beautiful wife. My sister Fenice, her husband, my mama, Jesus. Me put talk about mama Jella. When the woman they go for prayer. When my mother go for prayer, good up on her knees and ball. Then God could have feel me a muscle crazy. Mama Jella, big up yourself. I wouldn't trade you for another mother. You make me be a fighter. I love you so much, mommy. Like the prayers that you give out. Let me tell you something and tell you something about God and my closeness with God. That's what I tell people all the time, you know. You know, make sense to try to come around me, you know. Because you see me, when God go for tell me about you, a problem. Yeah, I don't want to go back to my first life because this is my second life and I'm a change. First time I change. But I just want you to know that God is good. Um, when I woke up in the DR, um, so what happened was when I went to the hospital and they did the MRI, I was rushed into surgery. And so I didn't know what was happening to me. Like, it's not like they might tell me, say, look here, this happened and that happened, your intestines, this, that, that you're having hernia where nothing was said to me. So I was just probably put the, they gave me the anesthesia and I just went to sleep and then I woke up. Right. So imagine feeling normal. Feeling okay, walking around, being on the beach, singing, Michael, on vacation. You know, your flight is booked. You're ready to go to Jamaica. You go to hospital. Imagine going through all of that. You reach, your ear say you have hernia. Your ear say they must go do an um, emergency surgery upon you. You're rushing at emergency surgery. And you wake up. And imagine when you wake up now. Remember you're good, good enough. Remember you walk around. Remember you're all right. Imagine you wake up, and when you wake up, you wake up like a robot. You wake up with things in your nose and things in your mouth. You wake up with your two and tied to the bed. You wake up and see, say, you're in one surgery room, and people are walking around, and they speak Spanish, and you can't talk. You hardly can't see. You are never dead, you're dead if I sell you day. <laughs> say, Jesus Christ. No, sir. When I woke up, I have to put on the phone. I don't know if I can hear. I have to exaggerate. This have to talk about. This cannot be a secret. This have to talk about. No, we have to talk about. No, I'm not taking it serious. We have to laugh a little bit. When I wake up, my two and tied to the bed. Everything in my nose, my mouth. I saw me wake up stiff like a robot. You, 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 you wonder if I, this is hell because you're in a pain. You're in a at you. Your belly is at you. Your face swell. Your body is everything wrong. Wake up like a robot. And I couldn't speak. But you know, obviously, you know, you can't pray in your mind. For those of you who don't know, sometimes if you're in public and you want to say a prayer, God can hear you if you're saying it in your mind. So I start praying in my mind. I say, God, what is? I say, Jesus, what is happening right here? I say, God, what is this? I say, Father Jesus, I decree and I declare. I start go down in night. I turn grace in night. I turn sister grace. I say, Jesus, I don't know what this is, but this is not what you promised me. I'm going to start go down in the scripture because I'm a girl, I know my Bible. I'm going to start holding by my words. I say, God, this is not what you promised me. I'm going to start give them the silent prayer. And I never business what the doctor said to me. Because at one of the point, come like the doctor, them give up, like the doctor, them say me, now nah, I'm make it because the infection that I have, the sepsis was like 3,500. And I guess it's never been so high from anybody that them see. They call me the miracle patient. I remember when I was over there and I was healing, it was just like a miracle, like them couldn't believe. And I started, Jesus, I what is? And I go down in a piece of prayer. I remember the prayer so vividly. Me never knew it. Me did have it in me. Me never knew me did know so much scripture. And when me start praying in my mind, 
me never be this way the doctor want to say to me say when he must say we got to be hopeful um that you're gonna make it me say i blow it up and i send it back to the pit of the hell me say god you said i shall not die but i shall live and declare i me start go down in the gospel i me start preach hey, hey. you think say me baptize a man again when me go down and say god what is this me say jesus you never tell me this me you never talk about this this is not what you promised me me say every time the doctor them come worried me never worry and me never fret and me never pray because I believe in God and I know that there's a God and I know that God is Lord God, you know me by my name. You know me by my number. Jesus in heaven, my kings of kings, my lords of lords, I thank you, dear God, for what you've walked me through. Father Jesus, I beg you, dear God, to be merciful unto me. I ask that you'll forgive me of all my sins and all my transgression. As I pray, dear God, on this life, I pray for each and every one of us that is here, dear God. And I pray, dear God, that you'll continue to bless us in our own little special way. You know each and every one of our issues that we are having. And so, God, we place it into your hands, Lord Jesus. You know us before creation, dear God. And so I just want to give you the glory, the honor, the thanks, and the praise. Father God, I want to thank you that last night wasn't our last night. And I pray eternal everlasting, Father God. Heal, O him. Heal, O we, chastity. You are my kings of kings, my lords of lords. I thank you for everything that you've given given me that you've walked me through for my journey i pray for each and every one of us here on the life today dear god that you would bless us in your special way in jesus name i pray i give you thanks i love you i am grateful for life amen amen i love you guys um i'm excited my journey starts my new journey um starts today um, so you'll be seeing me more often. I'll be going live more often. Um, you know, I just want you guys to know that I'm grateful for you guys. Um, I said I was going to answer a few questions. If you still have them, if I didn't clear up everything. Charts of Spice, I love you so much. Thank you. Woo. Big up, Father God. Jesus, you are king. Ah, oh, still see people saying amen. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Give God the glory. Give God all the praise. I love that. Somebody say welcome back. Thank you so much. Woo. Famous words to amen. Big up yourself. Somebody still asks if I'm pregnant for true. Oh, wow. After being here with you guys for almost an hour. No, I'm not pregnant. That was my celebration of my new life. I did that for my new life, for my rebirth. Um, God gave me a second chance at life, and I'm grateful for it. And that's what I was celebrating. Somebody said, I miss you, no girl. I miss you too. Alpha, brilliant. My brother, big up yourself. When my dad at the hospital, you cook my food, care, come give me every day. When the doctor said, I'm not at my body like a protein, you boil up the yam and the banana, them. When I, when I could be able to eat again. Thank you so much. I love you, brother. Big up yourself. Um, my brother's a bishop say that he's loving your testimony. Kim Possible Waterhouse, big up your brother, big up the bishop himself. I am so grateful for my testimony. I was very, tell your brother, um, the bishop that I was kind of, I, I was in a dark place. I remember when I was going through my scarring and I was, I think it was just, I was questioning God. Like I was like, why me? Why is this happening to me? Why, why, why? But I'm kind of over that stage of my life. I came out of that dark place. I know why me. I know why I was chosen. I'm grateful for my testimony and telling that I, um, I received the word and I'll do my best to just share my testimony as much as possible to give God his glory as much as possible. And that's just exactly what I'm doing. Um, is there any other questions? Let me just run through some questions real quick. 
so that we now feel go back through it um over and over what a testimony glory be to god he's true kings amen somebody said what you've been through i've been through something similar amen big up yourself who is that um sexy keisha big up yourself um in god Send the questions, guys, so I can just answer them real quick. Fetopia, I will definitely be there in Bermuda. Get ready for the queen. I'm so excited to be back on the stage. I'm so happy. I'm not pregnant, guys. No, I'm not pregnant. I feel like my stomach is still a little bit swollen, but no, I'm not pregnant. I'm great. I'm good. I've been dancing around. I've been in rehearsals, guys. I'm getting ready for my shows and my performances. I'm excited. Um, I lost a lot of weight, but I'm still good. Empress said Jeremiah 23 is not my word. Like fire declares the Lord and like the armor that breaks the rock in pieces. Amen. Yes, sister Kiki, right? That's so Empress Le Glam. If you're in New York City and you want to get your hair done, make sure you check out Empress Le Glam, my hairstylist, um, who is also my sister in worship. Um, what are the questions? You're a beautiful soul. So many people have been having all these health issues. I'm praying for you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, is it true that that person came to DR to look for you? I don't even talk to that person um, at all. Um, funny enough, that person will learn, you know, not to trouble God's people. And I'm just waiting for the day where he come and speak his truth. You know, most of the lies that was told on me. I feel like he lost a good friend and him know it. But let's wait and see if him will have it in him heart to be strong enough to speak him truth. You know? Because him know the real truth. Um, what else? The people that came to DR, I don't want to forget you guys. Um, so, many of my, so many of my friends rushed to DR when they heard what I was going through. So big up to Mida um, that came out there immediately. Um, Carly was there, even though I wasn't talking to her at the time when she come, she still came and, um, who else came? Nancy came, Estelita came, my sister Fenice, as I told you guys, she never left me a minute or a second. Um, am I missing any? Angel, Angel came. Oh my God. So many of my friends rushed to the DR when they heard what was happening. And so many people wanted to come, to be honest. Um, so many people was concerned. Like I said, I'm really appreciative of everyone. Um, I heard everyone that was reaching out and everyone was praying. So I'm just so grateful. God bless me is out today. When you hang up, go over my YouTube and go watch my video, guys. God bless me video is out. It's on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and watch this journey with me. Um, I'm so grateful for this journey, for this new life, for this new start. Um, I decided to go with God bless me rather than my gospel song and my reggae song because it just tells you guys my journey and what I've been through. So in that song, you know, I've said so many things that means a lot to me. Me have a scar in a me chest to prove a God be worshipping. So me dash for me whole life bringing a new beginning. You know, so many things in that song means a lot. So that's why I chose that song. But in truth and honesty, I do want to do my gospel song. I just take, I, I just think it will take more time to come. And my reggae song comes out next week that I'm so excited about. My first big major um, reggae song. Um, a lot of people think that I was doing this to do an album. No, I do not have an album. I was in the hospital. I couldn't talk. I couldn't record. Um, I just recently can talk and record strong enough back to myself. So I'm just recently going to be doing um, most of my songs. So don't feel like I'm trying to do a scam of promoting an album. That was never the case. And it's still not the case. I do not have an album coming. I wasn't recording any songs. Like I said, when they took the tubes out of my throat, I was talking so fine. Like my voice was so weak. Mm, that be the glory. So no, I do not have any album coming, but hopefully we get one by the end of the year. I can work on things starting now. Um, so look out for new, 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 new song is coming soon. New, new, brand new, brand new, new, new. You know, that is another song that I love. But like I said, I just didn't want to promote songs. I wanted to share my testimony first. Um, somebody said, are you scared to perform on stage again? Um, 
I don't know. I've been sweating for hours. I don't know if I sweat, but I'm not scared. Queen is still here. I tell you that I'm fully healed. I'm rejuvenated. I'm ready to do this again. Yes. No, I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm 100% better. And ready again. I'm even, I think I'm even better than before. So yes, I'm not scared just to answer your question. Spice, I love your new song. It bad. Thank you so much. God have blessed me. Yes, God have blessed me. Song is out today. All right. Um, I think I answered enough questions, guys. I love you. Remember to give God the glory today. Um, show up your blue art. Um, right, there's a queen. Shan, stay good. Big up yourself. Um, Atta Rice, my DJ. Big up yourself. Richie Feeling, I love you, my brother. I, Yo, we have to talk about Richie Feeling. Sometimes I've had a lot of friends that has betrayed me in the past. People that hurt me, people that was so disloyal. Um, but when you have good friends and good people, you have to kind of appreciate them. You know, when you have people that is really for you, you got to appreciate them. And I tell Richie Feeling that I ate him every day. But I think today I want to tell him that I love him. I love you, Richie. You are like... Most of the times when I call you, when I, you know, I'm going through a dark place, you don't know, like, just talking to you. Even though you're so mixed up, you come like on satellite, this shit, a ram, forgive me the people, them business. It does something to me. It makes me happy to know that somebody actually cares about me. So big up to Richie. I love you. Um, Ray Alexander was so worried. My booking agent, he's not even my booking agent. He's like a father. He's like a brother. He's like an uncle. It's like a family that I don't know that I had. Like, I don't know when would I do it out to Ray Alexander. Um, we're officially open for booking. Speaking of Ray Alexander, if you want to see me in a city near you, um, cool booking agency, find him. Cool booking agency, tag your promoter, find your promoter, tell them we ready for the spice again. Um... Sparky baby, I love you. Big up yourself, mama. Far where I come from. You don't know the tingle. Um, what else? Billions. Big up yourself. Um, who was the man you're talking about? I don't know. I'm not in a relationship, guys. I'm a single woman at the moment. I'm not seeing anyone. I'm not dating anyone. I'm not in a relationship. I'm not in a relationship. I'm not in a relationship. Um, actually I'm going to pass my one year celibacy when in a couple of days. Yeah. I did. I just realized I'm going to pass my one year celibacy. Um, I think next week, next week is going to be one year that I abstain from sex. That's amazing. That's a blessing. I'm fully, whew, I'm like a new person. Yeah, but ready for skin right out right now. Yeah. Um, what else? Say loader in the back for the ones who don't know. Somebody said we stay in single until God send the husband. <laughs> Absolutely. Um Sparky Baby said, I'm so glad you're okay. Me distress out. I believe you and I got your message from Ray Spark. So thank you so much and big up yourself. Um, like I said, big up to everybody that was praying for me. I love you guys. Any other question? Um, how are the kids? The kids are doing well. The kids are in Jamaica. Um, you know, they go to school there. So Nicholas and Nicola Tai is there. When the incident happened to me, um, I remember texting my mom and telling her to, you know, not let him go to school for that week because I know that people was even, you know, saying so many things and I didn't want them to go through the agony of walking through the school gate Walking through the school gate every day and people are saying, your mother dead, your mother this. Like, wanna, wanna speak some things over my life. Me that feel I can't sleep. Even in my stage where I was so sick, I had to be praying against and can't sleep up, no found words because people was just sending RIP, saying so many things, saying I was in a coma, saying I had a heart attack. Say, I heard all of that and it just goes for sure. I said, people are so vile in these days. 
Like, even in your darkest moments, I feel like people will still try to tear you down. Um, but me buying up on the words and send it back to the pit of hell. Me blood no man, it never dug a manifest on earth. So even when I couldn't speak, you know, I was definitely blooding up no on the words, you know. The media was going crazy too. The day media was going crazy. I was disappointed in a lot of media. One of the media, especially from England, um, I need to give him a call just to ask, why would you come out as someone from the media that people look up to. Because you have a lot of media where we look up to. You have media, when a media bring it, you, you believe. But why would you come out and say I was in a coma when you, you never hear from nobody? Like, I literally have Ray Alexander, my booking agent number, on my page. And speaking to him, I said, did this person call you? He's like, no. Then why wouldn't you pick up your phone and call Ray and ask for facts before you, 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 you bring it to my fans and push them in a one shock? For say me have a heart attack, for say me in a coma, for spread all these rumors and all these lies that was so unnecessary. It's like when I take advantage of the situation and clout chase, even when I was dying and in my lowest moment, when I still, I use my name for clout. Even people when I talk to, I use my name for clout. Even the enemy, them, I use my name for clout. Like, come on, I don't have no humanity. I'm going to put a little aisle on my lip. Give me one second, because my lip is getting dry. What a life long. Somebody say I need to sue them. Spice. Um, them is not God, baby girl. Exactly. I saw the drunk of them stay. Um, yeah, and I'm not even going to pinpoint anyone. I'm just trying to say if, if we can do better as a people. That up here, I give me lip, you know. No, but I got to start saying me do my lip. This is not even how my lip look in real life. It's giving me a little lip at the top. But Spice is not pregnant. This prick is her celebrating her rebirth. Thank you so much. All right. So um, somebody says, sue them. Somebody says, sue them. And you see, a lot of times I had you know, the capabilities of suing a lot of people from the media, but that's just not what I'm about. I think I've kind of accepted that I'm a celebrity, I'm a famous person, so people will have their own opinion, and I think I value, like, everybody's opinion of me, and I feel like not everybody are going to like you, and I think that's something that we all have to learn to accept and learn to know that the more haters you have, you know, you just have to make them be a motivation. And so I'm not even that angry person to say, me I go cost nobody here, me I go, you know, like I tell you, the second life has really opened my eyes for me. It has changed me a lot. It has made me become a better person. I'm more patient, you know, and so to each his own. If anybody out there want to do wrong, that's their answer to God. It's not my answer. And so I leave them to do what they want to do. But I am, I am a person, like I said, I'm a woman of God. So I'm going to try my best to live by his word as much as I can. When I went through what I went through, a lot of people was like, oh my God, this is so tragic. You have to go baptize. You have to go this. You have to go that. But my heart with God is at a place where nobody cannot tell me different, like my relationship with God. Like my testimony can already tell you that me have a relationship with God. But I'm not going to rush to baptize if I know I'm not 100% ready. Like 80% of me can go get baptized because I live in his truth. I live in his word. You know, I'm a strong believer. But what I'm to the next 20% when no say me have a fuck before me married. Like what I'm to the other 20% when no certain look at things. Every time I talk one bad will come out of my mouth. Like there's so many things to this that it's not an overnight thing. But I'm taking my walk. And I know that the day will definitely come because I'm a woman of God. I'm a strong believer, but I'm not going to run and jump and get baptized until I know for a fact, say me 100% ready to take that walk there. Me 100% ready to take that journey there because enough people jump up and run going to church and me and Uno and God know say, Uno never ready. 
and only not ready. And then you know, become a nuisance to people and make people have this bad things to say about Christian. I only do it, you know, and nobody else I only do it. But I'm not gonna walk that walk until I know that I am 100% ready to walk that walk. Yeah. Me know what did me say, say me go fuck on them look or something there. Yeah, come let me look at sex and them something. So when me ever take up myself no. <laughs> me not gonna tell me. <laughs> Why, Jesus, I love you. Mm -mm. Oh God. Yeah, Christianity is a strong and powerful thing. You have to be ready, you know. Um, and I know that, you know. Me know my little things that I want me to do. Who just go and know what I want to do? Who know the little things that I want to do? Nobody watch me and comment about me. Worry about yourself. Mm hmm. Don't worry about yourself because trust me when I tell you though. No. Hey, God, when God comes, it's a different story. Um. Vice is just too real. And the truth, but the truth. When am I going to take up myself? No. I'm going to act like. Because I could act like. A lot of people act like, a lot of people act like, but oh, me, I got to take up myself. Eh? I run, go say, me, I got to dip myself now in the water and say, me, I baptize. And like me, I mock God. That I would have mockery. When God is ready for me to baptize, he's going to send my husband. He's going to send um, a man of God, a man that believes in God. Um, because I know he's going to send my husband because him already know, say, me, I go want look at sex and so. So if God don't know, say, <laughs> you know, I'm not in the live, you're not weird, yeah. I'm going to go, come out for the live. We're going to leave this conversation for another day. Let me just end this live because if God already don't know my little heart's desire, I all the little things that I need, I also make a want to look at sex and so. Did him know him I go place the right man, the right husband in my life so that the little part there of my mind where I go wonder and think about sex because somebody in Christian relationship is a woman in <laughs> Why? I love you guys. I'm not going to make my first life come back into my second life. I'm going to leave it right there. I want to come off of this life because I don't want to go back to my old self. Just know that I love you guys. Um... And that, um, that was my testimony that I shared with you guys. That was what Jesus did for me. Um, just know that I appreciate it. Just know that I appreciate you guys, that I love you guys, that I'm grateful for the priors. Just know that I shared my testimony and that was it. And just know that my song is out today and it's called God Have Blessed Me. Just run over YouTube and go watch the video. Um, Kem Kem, I love you. Me already big you up already, boy. You're late, but you will see the live coming. No, they're going to share it all about. Um, I just can't help myself. It's just who I am. I just have to be me. I just have to be real. I just have to just just who I am. I can't wait to see you guys. Okay, man, get ready for me. I come out next week. I can't say. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I have a new show, new performers. Um, yeah, that's just what it is. Um, how long are you gonna perform in um April eight? One hour. I normally perform for one hour. My set is so big, I have to be cutting out a lot of my catalogs in my performance, and I don't like that. So I'm actually trying to plan like a live where I can gather all the songs that I've done and do a live performance, and uh, everybody can just do home in and them comfort of them home and watch my performance, doing all of my songs from the start of my career. That's really a plan that I have to go live, and I, I pray that you guys will appreciate that. But I'm planning that soon. Um. What are the questions? How tall are you? I am actually five. I think I'm five feet or five one. I don't know. I'm very short. Um, yes, I am single. Single, ready to mingle. But I am, um, I haven't had a place in my life. I don't date boys. So all of you guys who's in my DM trying to do our, I don't date boys. I don't date boys. I am um, moving forward. I want to date a man who knows his worth. I'm, I don't even want to go into that. I'll talk about that our next live. But yes, I'm single. I'm not with anyone at the moment. Not a man. For a reason. 
because again, I know found it up on Instagram. I feel kind of act like when I'm happy with the man and the man I don't know all kind of things. I don't settle. I'm a very no nonsense type of person. I'm not going to settle. I'm not going to fake. I can fake and I could have fake, but no, I'm living in my real. So if something is right in my spirit, if something is settle with me, if something is right with me, trust me. I don't know. It's not going to work. This boy in spice says spice is pretty. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, somebody say exactly. No, yeah, that's the truth. When F is the right time to be like <laughs> Gwanda man. Um answer my question. Hot underscore girly. I didn't see a question. I'm sorry. This is moving so far. Um, Chart of Spice, I love you. Somebody say, if I have baby already, I'll leave one of my fans to answer you. British, big up yourself. Good morning. I love you. Thank you for everything that you have done for me and for everything that you're doing for my career. Big up all of the DJ, them, the dish jacket, the radio people, them, even the bloggers. You guys really promote me a lot. So thank you too as well. Um, what else? Um, come to uh, Steve Original Jerk Chicken. Big up yourself. Um, the song bad Menango lie. Thank you. Um, what's that? Tashika. Thank you, Tashika. God is good. Thank you. Amen to that. Thank you, guys. Go over YouTube. Go listen to my song called God Bless Me. It's out now. Somebody say you are the best. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Is she pregnant for true? I'll leave my fans to answer that one. Um... Can't wait to see you back in Jamaica. I'm performing in Jamaica. I think the 24th, Mega Day, Montego Bay, 24th of April. I think so. But I'm definitely coming to Jamaica to perform. All right. What else is there? All right. Somebody says, stay safe. I love you guys. The song, Body. Yeah, the song is out. It's called God I Bless Me. Um, The video is out. Big up to Bling Blang. Oh, my God. The team for making that video. Oh, my God. The video is out. No. God I Bless Me video. Please go over my YouTube. Go watch it. Go subscribe. Um, we're ready again. The queen is back. Call on a mother, on a father, on a sister, on a brother, on a niece, on a nephew, on a aunt, on a uncle. Everybody call them. I met them know that the queen is back. I'm ready again. Say, so don't know. Uh, once again, I'm definitely going to be in catching all the 22nd. I'm going to be in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Um, I'm going to be in Cayman next week. I'm going to be in New York, April 8th. So, everybody, see cool international day on the live. I'm going to be in the 22nd. I'm going to be in Jamaica. Yeah. Follow Cool International for all the bookings and everything. Make one of people them know said the queen ready again. Oh yeah, uh, Jesus. Oh God, pin this. That is Cool International. So tell every promoter, tell everybody, follow his page. Um, get his WhatsApp. It's on my bio. You know, his number is there. It's easy to reach out. It's easy to get connected with my correct and official booking agent. I just pin him right there. It's Cool International. Um, somebody say, oh, Spice Lip looks so, oh. See me come out of the filter. Oh, my lip look. Hmm? Talk to me, girl. There's nothing done to my face, guys. I explained that I lost a lot of weight. Um, so my item red. Just wake up. But I step out of the filter so you can see my lips properly. That's my real lips. Um... So there's nothing done to my face. What else is there? Um, somebody, um, um, Ariel! <laughs> <Me see a message. laughs> big up to Sharon Burke over there and big up to Ariel, my other booking agent as well. When I don't know, say that's the, the official thing to do. And big up Violet, of course. I love you so much. Um, big up to Ray Alexander, big up to Ariel who does bookings as well for um, Sharon Burke. Um, I have a team of people that does bookings. Somebody said, take off this filter, Spice, because they're still not listening or reading. Oh, you take off the filter. Poor, poor connection. I don't know how to do that, but... I love you guys. Them said, well, I just make a dip on lunch break. Me know them now do the people them work. <laughs> I'm sorry for every business. I'm going to come off a live so I can go back to the people them work. Um, big up to Anna over there, um, in DR and also my other friends, you know, I just want you guys to know that I love you guys. I appreciate you. Um, I'm going to leave you guys to go stream my song. Um, it's out now.
It's called God Have Bless Me. Next week, I have a reggae song that is going to be out as well. I wanted to put out both of them. Maria, big up yourself in DR. I love you. I love Anna. I appreciate you guys for journeying with me, you know, just for sticking through with me. Um, everybody that has been there for me, I really, really appreciate you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Um... I love you too, Spice. I appreciate guys. I'm going to leave you guys. I'll see you guys more often starting from today. When I go get tired of me, um, my song is out now. Go and stream it. Go support it. Go buy it. It's called God Bless Me. The video is out. And that's just what it is. And I've, I share my story with you guys. So, and thank you for sticking through my entire story. You know, stay positive. Be positive. Big up Father God. I write this out there. Just remember that Jesus is king. Thank you, guys. I love you. I'll see you soon.